Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today and I sincerely hope that you all are doing great. So Megan, the Duchess of Sussex, hasn't even officially launched her brand that is American Riviera Orchard. Yet you see the UK media and the royalists whining so much about it. You know, the only thing that this shows me is that these people are really scared of Megan's power. They know what Megan is able to achieve because they have been watching the Megan effect all this time. Everything that Megan does just turns into gold. When she wears a brand, you'll see it selling out. And when she appears somewhere, maybe for an event, you'll even see the tickets selling out. So that's just who Megan is. Maybe these people are not prepared to see this. When they chased Megan out of that country, when they made her life impossible in that country, they thought she was going to go away and she was going to fail terribly. But four years down the line, now headed to five years, Megan is doing so well. And I believe that this is the reason why whenever Megan decides to do something, these people, that is the UK media and the royalists, will speak so negatively about everything that Megan is about to do in the hopes that it's going to fail. But I don't believe that is ever going to happen. So Tom Bauer is now here whining how Duchess Megan's American Riviera Orchard is a threat to the monarchy. I knew at one point or the other they were going to say this. They were going to say how Megan's brand is a threat to the monarchy. I mean, if a woman who's living 5,000 miles away launches something and it's said to be a threat to the monarchy, then it means that this monarchy is so fragile. Anyway, I also believe that Tom Bauer is one person who's very, very bitter about Harry and Meghan's every move. Remember when he said that the survival of the monarchy depends on the obliteration of the Sussexes? That is what Tom Boa said in the beginning of this year. And obliteration means that the total destruction of something so that nothing remains of it. So Tom Bauer was basically calling for people to do something harmful to Harry and Meghan, which is not cool at all. I believe that Tom Bauer is one of the people who feels really threatened by everything that the Sussexes do. He feels like every little thing that Harry and Meghan do poses a threat to this monarchy because these unroyals, or let me say, the likes of William, Kate, Charles and Camilla are just very incompetent. They can't seem to do anything. So when they see Harry and Meghan making moves, um, just going about their lives, they get really mad. Anyway, I also know that Tom Bauer is the same person who said that he is after Megan. Well, if you don't believe me, just listen to this. Hey, Prince Harry was, Prince Prince Harry was born with the invasions of our privacy. He was born. Prince Harry. His princely title is Megan Markle. This book is really oh, Megan oh, oh. That is very, very disgusting. But as you can see, Tom Bauer already made his point a very long time ago. It's only Megan that he's after, simply because Megan is a biracial woman, and so that makes Tom Bauer a racist person. Why would you be going after someone who hasn't done anything to you? I've, I've never heard Megan mention Tom Bauer's name. But, but he is here grinding his teeth, saying nasty things about a woman that he has never met. Anyway, I also believe that what these people are really worried about is that American Riviera Orchard is going to be a success and they can't take credit for it or claim that Harry and Meghan are broke. No wonder they keep ranting so much. Anyway, let's see what Tom Bauer was saying. So he wrote in a mail column saying that the king and Prince William now face a serious problem and a woman whose personal drive and hungry ambition seem to know no bounds. She wanted to rule the world, says Nelthrop Cowan of their time working together, words King Charles should remember. 
Until now, he has been too accommodating. It is unfortunate that the king agreed to give royal titles to the Sussex children, Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet. Now, after the launch of Meghan's lifestyle brand, he, he probably regrets it. These people are mental, right? Well, especially Tom Bauer. Because in his efforts to bring down Megan, in his efforts to make Megan look like she is a bad person, he is also exposing Prince William and King Charles. He's exposing how fragile that monarchy is. Well, that is just a fact because I believe all of us know now how fragile that monarchy is. To the extent in which when Megan does anything for herself, it's said to be her trying to do something to the monarchy, her posing a threat to the monarchy. Remember when the male even published her pictures on the day of the coronation and then they were saying how Megan was trying to upstage the coronation? That must be a joke, right? Like, she can't just do anything without these people whining. And I believe by now they should have known that Megan can never be 50% of herself as they expected when she joined that family just so that the other dull members of that family can shine. She can never be that. Megan did her best while in that family. She did her absolute best. But these people never accepted her, never welcomed her into that family. So she just had to leave. And now that she's left and just working hard to provide for her own children, they still don't want her to do that. And then for Tom Bauer to say that King Charles should have, should have never given the royal titles of prince and princess to Lilibet and Archie is just the most vile thing that I've ever had. Because Archie and Lilibet are children to a, a Prince Harry's children. So they have a right of being called prince and princess. So I don't know why it's paining them so much to see Harry's kids being named prince and princess. It all stems down to racism. I believe if it was other children, they'd never say that. But just because it's Archie and Lilibet, they feel very comfortable saying that they should have never been given the titles of prince and princess. But anyway, I really don't care about the titles thing. Honestly, I don't even think it's affecting Harry and Meghan so much because they have already established themselves. Whenever someone says, uh, whenever someone says Meghan or when someone says Harry, you'll definitely know that they're talking about Harry and Meghan. They don't have to include the uh, Prince Harry and Duchess Meghan so that you know it's them. Like their names just speak for them without these titles. Tom Boa can continue whining, but Megan is not going anywhere. Her brand is not going to fail because Tom Boa thinks it's a threat to the monarchy. Anyway, that's just what I'm going to say for today. Kindly leave your comments down below on what you think about this. And I will see you all on the next podcast. Have a wonderful and amazing time. Goodbye.